What's up guys and welcome to another episode of El Jardín Pirito. Today, we're harvesting Rizal. All right, so Rizal is a plant that's closely related to hibiscus. You may know um, like hibiscus tea. Typically, they're gonna use the petals that I'm about to harvest. So we'll go ahead and check it out and I'll show you the process. All right, so this is the plant itself, the roselle, uh, kind of losing leaves here as we're getting in the fall. This is a pretty good example of the uh, stages it'll go through. To be honest, these are a little bit overdue for harvesting. We got a little more rain than I thought we'd get. Um, I was going to let them kind of just dry on the stock like this, but uh, yeah, if you let them go too long, you get just the seed pods here which I'm also going to harvest and save for next year. But uh, these are just kind of at a pretty good point. So we're gonna go through here and just clip all these off. All right, so I'm just using an old pot as something to put them in. But basically I'm just going around and pruning. And even if they're kind of uh, shoddy, I'll go ahead and prune them off and we can save those for seed pots. All right, so as you guys can see, we have a pretty good harvest here. And uh, basically I'm gonna sort through these, make sure none of them um, that I'm going to dehydrate and use are moldy or anything like that. A majority of these are really good, um, but basically you're taking the petals here, which are edible fresh. I've been doing that uh, throughout the summer here. And then on the inside, you'll have the seed pods. But yeah, we're gonna be harvesting all this outer layer here. But yeah, just to show you guys, again, you're going to just go ahead and peel all this off. You can even use this bottom part a little bit if you need to. Maybe clean this off. It looked like it had uh, some kind of mites or a little bit of insect and definitely can see a little bit of potential mold starting on the inside here. But um, yeah, get these all cleaned up, separated, and throw them in the dehydrator. All right guys, so today's video is pretty short and sweet. Um, just something I was keeping tabs on around the yard and thought I'd walk you guys through it. So yeah, Roselle tea and just Roselle in itself is very beneficial, lots of antioxidants, high in vitamin C and other nutrients. So it's good to have on hand. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions or you'd like to add anything. As always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.